In this next video, we're going to finish the line segments and measures worksheet on the CUDA software website under the geometry tab. And this worksheet deals with centimeters. Our next set of directions say to use a ruler to measure the length of each segment, and we're measuring the segment in centimeters and we're rounding to the nearest millimeter. That's like what we did in the first half of this worksheet. However, now we're also going to state the maximum error and the maximum percent of error in each measurement. So for number 15, measuring this, we get one centimeter and we're going seven millimeters past, so this is 1.7 centimeters. Now our maximum error, since we're measuring to the nearest millimeter and a millimeter is one-tenth of our centimeter, if we were to divide that by two, we would get our maximum error, so this is 0. 0 0.05 centimeters. That's our maximum error. And if you remember from the previous worksheet, in inches, we did a formula for maximum percent of error. That formula is the max error divided by the measurement that you got, and that's equal to that max percent error. So on our calculator, we're going to take our max error, which is 0 0.05, and we're going to divide that by our measurement, which is 1.7, to get our max error in decimal form, which is 0 0.029. However, when we convert that to a percent, we'll get 2.9%, since we need to move the decimal place over twice to the right. So for number 15, our maximum percent of error is 2.9%. Now let's move on to number 16. When we measure 16, we get 2 centimeters exactly. We're still measuring to the nearest millimeter, so our max error is 0 0.05 centimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 0 0.05 and we're going to divide it by 2 centimeters this time. That's going to give us 0 0.025 which as a percent is 2.5%. Measuring number 17, you can see that we get approximately 2.3 centimeters since we're going three millimeters past the two. Our max error is the same as the previous two, 0 0.05. And when we divide 0 0.05 by 2.3, we get 0.0217, which is approximately 2.2%. For number 18, we're 6 millimeters past the 2, so that's going to be 2.6 centimeters. Our max error is the same as the previous 3, 0 0.05 centimeters, since we're rounding to the nearest millimeter. So now we're going to take that 0 0.05 and we're going to divide it this time by 2.6. That's going to give us 0 0.019, which is about 1.9%. And notice that as our line gets longer, our percent gets smaller. So really quickly, I'm going to measure number 19 and then I'm going to measure number 20. Lining my ruler up, 19, Sliding that over into the frame gives me exactly 17 centimeters. So I'm going to write 17 centimeters. And then measuring 20 really quickly, sliding that over into the frame, you can see that I get 17.3 centimeters. So 19 is 17 centimeters and 20 is 17.3 centimeters. Both of them have a max error of 0 0.05 centimeters since we're rounding to the nearest millimeter and when you divide that in half you get 0 0.05 centimeters and now let's enter that into our calculator if we take 0 0.05 and divide that by 17 we get approximately 0 0.3 percent rounding up in number 19 and in number 20 we will also get approximately 0.3%. So 0.3% of 
and 0.3%. Now we have our critical thinking questions. Jessica measures a line segment to the nearest millimeter. She calculates that her measurement has up to 0.2% error in it. What measurement did she find for the line segment? So we know that our max error divided by our measurement equals the max percent of error. So let's plug in what we know into this formula. Our max error, since she's rounding to the nearest millimeter, is 0 0.05. We're dividing that by our unknown measurement, and that's going to equal our max error of 0.2%, which, converting that to a decimal, is 0 0.002. Now, using measurement, like a variable, we would have to multiply measurement to both sides in order to get it out of the denominator. However, we want to isolate it, so once it's on the right, we need to divide both sides by 0 0.002. So our final answer will be 0 0.05, so 0 0.05, and we're dividing that by 0 0.002 to get 25 centimeters. So 25 centimeters is the measurement of Jessica's line segment. And now on to number 22. What is the minimum error, and what is the minimum percent error in Jessica's measurement? Well, the minimum error we can assume is 0 centimeters. That's assuming that she gets the answer spot on correct. So if we're trying to calculate the minimum percent, we take that minimum error and divide it by her measurement. So zero divided by any number is zero. So that will be zero percent. And with that, we wrap up the line segments and measures worksheet. And this worksheet was dealing with centimeters. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it helpful. Also, if you have any questions, please visit my tutorial section on YouTube or leave it in the comments below.